Uh, first off, uh, why not? You know, okay. why not? You know, uh, Coach Riley, you know, reached out, and between him and Bron and D Wade, I mean, I've I've known those guys for a long time, and you know, I know if uh, this is this is a great place for me, you know, both to uh, just re rejuvenate myself, and I feel like I can help here. Cutting to the chase, because obviously people want to know condition-wise, where do you stand weight-wise? Where do you feel you stand condition-wise? Yeah, I'm good. I feel good, man. I feel good. Obviously, uh, these guys are on a whole other level here. So, you know, I got some work to do, but I'm willing to do it. And, uh, you know, I'm uh, a lot closer than uh, what I thought I would be, you know. But, you know, like I said, I feel good, man. And I'm going to give them my all, and I'm going to try to help these guys out. Try to help these guys, uh, you know, win some games. Coach what Riley had asked you to lose a certain amount of weight before you came back. I mean, <coughs> was, was he content? Are you content with with what happened? Obviously, with the lockout, you couldn't be here doing what you yeah, planned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm happy. I believe he's happy. You know, I'm healthy, and uh, you know, the key is just to remain healthy and keep pushing every single day, doing extra work, and. Uh, being able to put myself in a position to help these guys, that's all it's about. To play yeah. here, you have to defend and rebound to be with yeah. Heat. Obviously, your career, everyone says, yeah. nice post player. Yeah. Rebound, not yeah, yeah, so much. Yeah. Defend, not so much. Can Absolutely. you bring those elements? Can you add those elements? I could do it, you know. I was asked to score, so that's what I did. I'm okay. at, if I'm asked to rebound, I'm going to go on here and I'm going to give them my all and try and rebound and defend. Eddie, all you've been through the last three years, how many times did you just sort of give up hope and think that never. maybe this door wasn't going to open again? Never. Never gave up hope. You know, I knew this uh, opportunity was here. And, uh, you know, it was just a matter of time for me. Eddie, what do you weigh now? Can't tell you all that, but uh, <laughs> I can tell you that I'm feeling good and that uh, I'm on path to, 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 to really help these guys do something special here. What's the, mo what's the most you've weighed in your life? In my life? I don't know, man. I, you know the most you weigh in your life? I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. <laughs> you say how much you come down? I, I lost about 70 pounds. So. Is that the most you've ever lost at a time? At or? a time, yeah. Yeah. Did you think you could lose 70 pounds or did you even surprise I knew yourself? I could do it. You did? I knew I could do it. I, 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 I have uh, more faith in myself than anybody, you know, so I'm not, you know, I, I, I feel I feel no obstacle is too high to overcome. I've been through a lot and I feel like uh, brighter days are ahead and this is the first step. Well, that's stepping on toes then. Do you believe you again can be a starting NBA big minute center? You said what? Do you believe you can be a starting center in this league and play big minutes at center in this league? Uh, you know, right now I'm here. Right now they have a starting center. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do all I can to put myself in a position to help these guys, you know, as much as I can. And if that, if that's a starting role, that's a starting role. If it's off the bench, it's off the bench. You know, I'm going to do what I have to do, and we'll see what happens. How'd you, how'd you lose? The fact that Dwayne wanted to be here, the fact that LeBron wanted to be here, obviously they carry some weight. Yeah, yeah. What, what did that mean? That's huge. That's huge. I mean, like I said, these are guys who I knew LeBron since he was maybe a sophomore in high school, so I, I've known him quite some time. Obviously, uh, D-Wade grew up a few miles from me, uh, same AAU team, that kind of thing. So, I mean, it helps to have friends. And it, it helps to have those type of friends. But at the same time, you know, Coach Riley saw something he liked in me. And uh, this is a great situation for me, and uh, just want to try to help out. Do you feel like you've gotten a fair shake in other spots? I mean, you, I mean, you've been kind of a punchline in, yeah. in a lot of places. Yeah. How much does that I don't even, spur you on? I don't even think about that. I'm thinking about right now this situation and what I have to do to help, and that's what I'm gonna do. How did you lose the weight, and when did you start this weight? Uh, I kind of started. Uh, you know, I don't know when it started, but uh, I just, I just. As soon as I got in the gym, I just started, you know, to commit, to, to recommit myself, refocus myself, and try to be ready for whatever I mean, came next. Special diets? Special. Uh, nothing special, just kind of watching what I ate, you know, not, not eating late, making sure I got in the gym, got up shots, got a lot of cardio, uh, did, did a lot of extra running, just trying to, you know, stay healthy, stay fit. And, uh, and and try to be ready for for camp whenever that came around. But but it's been this year you lost the weight this year. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And one final thing, you know, just the last three years. I mean, I think you played ten games. I mean, how frustrating has it been not being able to play? It's frustrating uh, to not play the game you love. But I'm given the opportunity now to be able to do it again, so that's all I can really focus on. It's, you know, it's not, it's easy to look back and say, man, I wish this wouldn't have happened, or I wish this would have happened a different way, but I can't do that. You know, I'm here in this situation now. We got two practices tomorrow, so I just got to go home, get some rest, and be ready to go. It's been, it's been a long time since you practiced for real, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Were, were you nervous walking in here? No, I've, I've been playing against pros all summer, you know, so, I mean, obviously this is the heat camp, so it's a little bit different. It's a lot different, but, you know, I've been playing all summer. I'm a basketball player before anything, so that comes second nature. 
Is it hum is it humbling to come back on a minimal salary, or do you figure you got to start all over again anyway? You know, had to start off somewhere anyway. Okay. You know, no if nobody's gonna do something based on what happened the last couple of years. So I gotta you know start over fresh. And to me, this is a good situation. What did you want to sort of set out the exhibition for this summer? It just to me wasn't the right you know uh, what you call it. Uh, it wasn't the right time. You know, it wasn't the right time to go in there and chase these little guys around, catching all these alley-oops <laughs> and stuff. It's just not, you know what I'm saying? It's not really a center a center type of game in the summertime. So I just I just stayed, you know, took that time to spend with my family. Uh, my grandma was real sick all summer. So, you know, I just kind of, you know, spent that time just working out and spending time with my family, really.